September's already here, so you know what time it is. The Cubano Sample Pack. Let's roll my motherfucking music, because this one is going to be a dense one. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. See to you to the B to the A. Hey, Summer. Bye. That shit is gone. It falls here and it's coming with a vengeance. So far here in the tri-state area, it feels like some mornings are waking up at like 60, maybe below 60 degrees, and we just are skimming the cusp of September. So that means that this winter is gonna be hitting you right in the ovaries, super hard with an uppercut. So I decided to put together a little oud compilation of some heavy hitters to get yourself prepped for those cold fall mornings, trickling into what I feel is going to be an early winter. So let's get into the sample pack choices that I've selected. The first fragrance is none other than the sexy, intense concoction by Tom Ford, and that's Tom Ford's Oud Wood Intense. Now this joint is pretty much a sexy rosewood and oud combination sprinkled with the essence of amber all over this. Not to mention that when it starts to dry down, the intense factor is definitely tickling your nostrils with a bit of vanilla and citrusy components that all harmoniously blend together to create this, this sexualized introductory oud fragrance. What I love about the intense version, it does pack a little bit more of a punch but it's still not an obnoxious or fecal oud. It's still a very moderate entry level oud with a lot of sex appeal behind it. And for a designer fragrance, pick up at your fucking mall whenever you're allowed to go back. I think it's a beautiful selection. It's not an inexpensive fragrance at all, but at least you can try it in my sample pack. Next one. The next one is the King's Oud by the House of Creed and that's Royal Oud. Now what can I say about Royal Oud that hasn't already been said? Very little. But at the end of the day, what it is, it's a gentleman's Oud. Again, not punchy, fecal, or animalic, very gentlemanly. This is what it is. This is a sophisticated Oud fragrance that has a delicious blast of spicy citruses with a musky tart base and just has the brightness and just awesome Oud component in it that just makes it a really refined and sophisticated fragrance by the House of Creed. This is definitely one of my favorites from the House House of Creed because it is a man's man fragrance. It does command a bit of respect and has that little bit of air of aristocracy, but it has a lot of sex appeal as well. For me, I just feel it's more gentlemanly. It's prepared to be worn with a tweed coat and some penny loafers if you're built like that. Don't forget to wear the high water pant a little tucked up so you can show off your cankles like I have. I think this is a stellar release by the House of Creed, been around forever and a day, and still holds a lot of weight for a wearable oud. Last and certainly not least, this one, I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of this fragrance on me. There's a huge, huge, huge love for this fragrance in Fragcom. The reason I decided to put it in my sample pack because the fact of the matter is the times that I've smelled this fragrance on other people, it has smelled amazing. But for me, this does not work for me on my skin. It is a popular, popular release by the House of Amouage and that's Amouage Interlude Man. I can't wear this shit. This shit on my skin does not do well. It's like a cumin incense bomb on my skin that comes off a little B.O.-ish. I've had numerous occasions that I've smelled this shit on other people and it smells awesome. The whiff that it leaves in the air is killer on everyone else but me. On me, it just doesn't work well. I don't know why my skin just doesn't appreciate this fragrance. This is what we call a beast motherfucking mode fragrance. This is more for deeper into the fall or into the winter time because this is going to just manipulate all oxygen around anyone because you're gonna be on some superhero shit with this cloud of fucking blue beast bubble around you that might kill three or four people. I mean, it's tough, it's rugged, it's incense, it's amber, it's hardcore oud. This is not entry level, son. You at the end fighting M. Bison. You better bring all your fireballs, uppercuts, and hadoukens that you can because this is going to command that kind of respect. This is not an indoor fragrance. This is not something that you should really go heavy with on the trigger. As a matter of fact, I think one to two sprays with this fragrance is more than enough. It's not to be worn right now. Again, early morning hitting 50s and below. Maybe Maybe even 40s and below, because this shit is wild. I put it in my sample pack because it, at the end of the day, it just smells good for others, 
not me. Try it out and see how it performs on your skin. This is why you got a sample. That's it. Let me know what are the type of fragrances you want to see in your monthly sample pack. I'll put the link in the description below. Obviously, any proceeds that come from this shit go back into the channel so I can continue making content and entertaining y'all at the end of the day. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? The Udi stanky motherfucker in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tack. When it's time to call back, it's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.